Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video that I haven't done in quite a while and I think I have gotten a request for so I thought let's do it. It is a video where I show you guys all of the products that I'm currently panning. I have considered starting new projects but I have also considered ending some and I am going to end some in this month so some of these items are by the end of the month, not really, what can you say, available in a project pan. I have them in front of me and I have quite a few and there are some products that I really need to use because I'm not, <laughs> which is not very good when you have it in a project pan. Right now I am in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 project pans. So that explains a little bit why I have these many products in project pans and that I want to start three new products, project pans in like this in June and July. It is insane but I am ending to this month so I think I'm, I'm okay. Let's just get into the products because that is what you are all here for. So if you don't want to watch a sit and talk video and just me showing the products and Telling you a little bit about them. This video is not for you. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get into it because there's a lot to talk about. So I have one foundation and this is my Women London Lasting Finish 24 no 25 hour nude foundation. And this is the only foundation that I'm currently working on. But I have some really nice progress, so that is not <laughs> yeah, it will be done soon. Let's just say it like that. Then we have one concealer. Well, there is one more, but I use that as a base for my eyeshadow, so I don't really consider it concealer, even though it's actually in my concealer category. So, yeah, let's just do it. This is the W7 Go Concealer, and I have this in my Roulette Pan Club, I think. And my goal is to pan on it. I don't know if I can do that, but I have it in. It's a pretty nice concealer. I like it. Put them over here when I have talked about them, otherwise I will be confused. So the one that is not really a concealer, but it's not really an eyeshadow base, but I have it in my concealer category, is my W7 Touch and Go Blemish Concealer Pencil. And this is in the Illuminating shade. I don't remember the name because it was on the plastic, which was so stupid. But as you can see, it is illuminating. It's not really doing anything good for your blemishes. It, it kind of highlights you see the shine? So I'm using this every single day in my inner corner to highlight that and use it as a sticky base for my inner corner highlight sheet that I'm using every single day. I have a face powder that I'm working on. It is the W7 Flawless Face. This one right here. It has some color correcting beads in it. I don't know if those are really working. The loose version was really nice as a color correcting powder but yeah this is just the face powder that i'm using every single day and the only one that i'm working on then i'm working on this banana under eye setting highlighting powder thing from my nyx highlight and contour pro palette sometimes i forget to use this and that is only because i'm mixing it with another powder so i'm not reaching for the palette every single day but i scoop a little bit out every now and then but i'm working on the yellow shade right there which is a little bit too dark for me so i need to mix it with something else this is my eye primer that i have deep parted into this jar i'm not going to show you a lot this is kind of the product um it is from this tube right here the w7 i got the power in natural just a sheer eye primer and i'm using that every single day and it is the only one that i'm working on so <laughs> let's just take the rest of the base makeup products kind of so for bonuses i am working on three kind of four now the first one is my w7 honolulu bronzer this one right here i have that in my whole collection project pan i'm working on a blush slash contour it is the nyx powder blush in taupe this is the older packaging so it really needs to go but yes i'm working on this one this is my franken not Franken shadow, Franken bronzer that I have. If you saw my 20 in 2020 project, 
uh, you know that some of it broke off and last week that when I wanted to do my panda palette well last week from now when I'm filming this um, Felix dropped my C palette onto the floor and that bit just crumbled everywhere and a shadow so I did another Franken bronzer so I'm going to use this up before I'm using this up I hope that makes sense but yes I'm ki I'm kind of working on three but this is not really a separate bronzer it is a part of this Franken bronzer right here so two slash three bronzers and a contour for blush I am working or I have four in a project right now one of them I just rolled into a project so well today when I'm filming this video I filmed that update for my whole collection project fan as well so you will have seen that by now um, but I don't know if you have seen this so this might be a spoiler um, this is my essence mosaic blush in uh, Miss Floral Cole this one right here let me hold it like this so you can't see my spoiler that much but yes this is in my pie pretty fun then we have this one it is the W7 matte me blush in cheeky uh, W7 matte me blush cheeky matte powder blush in El Toro in my whole collection project pan that I'm not using <laughs> and then we have my C palette so let me show you stuck my finger down in it into an eyeshadow perfect I just rolled this into my whole collection project pan it is the Benefit Workature deluxe size blush and my Coalista blush from Benefit also a deluxe size let's take highlighters I have three um, yeah, I have two powder highlighters and then a cream one. The cream that I am using right now is this one. This is the Strobe Struck from W7 in my Powders in Cream Pretty Pan. And I love this highlighter so much and I'm using it every single day. Another one that I'm using daily is my W7 Glow Motion Pink It Up highlighter. This one right here. It is a beautiful and stunning highlighter and I have it on right now. It is beautiful i love it so much and if you don't know what projects i am talking about you should check out my videos <laughs> this is the when wild mega glow highlighting powder that i have in my culture free project pan um not that much progress but i'm working on this and i count this as a highlighter slash blush topper so it's basically a highlighter but i use it kind of as a blush but I'm not in a habit to use this at the moment, so that is really sad, but I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying, I don't, I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. Brow products. I am working on a brow pencil, W7's W7 Stroke of Genius Dark Brown Brow Pencil. And then we have the W7 Brow Sweep Brow Crayon, and this is like a wax crayon thing for your brows. And then we have, and then I just rolled this one into my uh, Cote Free Budget Pan from Maybelline. It is the Master Brow Pro Palette. This one right here. And I'm working on that shade at the moment. For a person that doesn't really go through la eyeliner that much and and not very fast, I'm panning seven. What? <laughs> I'm panning seven eyeliners. That is insane. And the only one that I'm using is this one. <laughs> I'm only using one. This is the gel eyeliner from L'Oreal that I have in my Partners in Cream. It's just a black cream gel eyeliner. These are my glitter liners. I have a usage goal in my uh, roulette pan collab for these. And yeah, so I don't really use them up in the project, but yeah they're here they are my metal flash from w7 the gold iridescent and silver my w7 petal to the metal eyeliner is a it is a gold one from my whole collection project pen then we have an eyeliner in my 2020 project pen um the p2 impressive gel in dramatic blue Oh, and then the last eyeliner is the Trended Up Metallic Metallic Cajal Eyeliner. It's like a bronzy shade in my drop tint before summer. 
Okay, before we get to the powder eyeshadows, I have two cream shadows that I'm working on. I have the W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream in very light shade. Gilded Cage light one right here that I had to revive with some oil. This is the NYX Lingerie Eye Tint in Whimsy. It's like a pinky shade. I'm working on quite a few singles right now. So the one in like a, a compact, I have my MAC Witch shadow that I'm not using. This is the Kigo Milano in 133. This is the P2, the future is mine, single eyeshadow right here. This is the one that I have on my eyelid on top of that pink cream shadow. So those are the shadows in the single compact and then we have the rest in my C palette. Oh my god, I forgot a blush. So is that five blushes? I think so. But this is my cream blush. It's a red color as you can see. It is a lip and cheek product but I only use it as a cheek product because I have so many lip products in projects. But when I filmed yesterday in my other red shirt I wore this on my lips and I quite like it. So I think I will try to do that again and then this will be done I think. So that is quite exciting. Because then I don't have any more cream blush in my collection. Thank God. <laughs> so now I can multitask my lipsticks as a cream blush as well. And then I can be in fashion like everyone else in the panning community. <laughs> because I feel like everyone is using their lipsticks as cream blush at the moment. So I really want to be in that zone as well. <laughs> I will soon be though. I will soon be. I'm excited about that. Okay, then we have my Essence Snowflake eyeshadow, just this white one in my single ladies. Another single lady is my Kiko High Pigment in 54. And then my Panda palette is this one right here. Well, I could, I could just show you this one. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. This is my Panda palette. So I have three single shadows up here and three down here. These are Franken shadows that is like a mixture of everything basically um so yes these are the ones that i am working on for my panda palette and i just filmed the update yesterday i think yeah yesterday so this will not be a spoiler yet <laughs> only if you haven't watched it yet but this is going up a lot later so you should <laughs> Let's take eyeshadow palettes and then lip products in the end. I have my W7 Major Matte eyeshadow palette that I have in my single ladies and my man matte for my my man matte. Oh my god, so many words. <laughs> Pretty excited about that. This is the W7 Delicious palette that I have in my roulette project pan, I think. Just to use every single sheet once. Not doing very good at about that. <laughs> Um, and then we have the W7 Enchanted palette, which is also in Willow Pan Collab and my Drop Tim Before Summer, I think. This is the one right here. Really like that palette. And then my Morphe 35K palette that I have in my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pen that I also want to use every single shade once. I'm missing a palette. Yeah, I'm missing a palette. One second. I didn't miss it. It was just hiding. This is my Paulina by Blush Tribe palette. And I am working on these two shades with pen. But these are the two shades that I made my Franken shadow with in my... The green Franken shadow in my panda palette. Maybe it's a spoiler, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know when this is going up. I'm trying to pre-film because we are going on vacation. Soon. <laughs> Okay, I have a lip primer from W7, the Double Prime Lips and Brows Primer, this one right here, don't like that. This is the W7 Lip Twister in Rust, which is almost done. A lip gloss that I'm working on is the NYX Butter Gloss in Peaches and Cream, yes. Then we have some Max Factor Color Elixir Gen Pen Sticks in my Graveyard Project Pan. These two ones right here. They're kind of a lipstick and kind of a lip gloss in the same at the same time. Um, so they're really nice and comfortable on the lips, but they are not 
like a lipstick so they are not that opaque the wet is more than the cold one though but i really like them and then we have lipsticks so i have a few lipsticks in my bh cosmetics Shen xo uh, lip and eyes palette and i'm working on the nude right here and the dark red right here i'm almost done with the nude which is really exciting i have it on top of this one right now i think so these are some lighter uh, lipsticks um so they are not really a bullet lipstick but they're not a lip gloss either so yeah <laughs> i'm working on those two one liquid lipstick is the nyx lingerie liquid lipstick in ruffle trim yes this beautiful darker nude right here it's really beautiful i love it my mac brave lipstick this one yeah, Maybelline Gigi had did collab in Tara. This one right here. It's like a nude brown. And then we have these two, which are the last products in this video. And then we can cut it off. Oh my god, I have been here forever. It's the W7 Metallic Mattes in SOS, which is the brown, and Apollo, which is the orange. Look at those. They're so beautiful. We're done. <laughs> that was a lot of product to go through um yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed in some way let me know how i can make this a little bit more fun or organized or whatever you want to see and how i can improve this video i would really love to hear that if you're new to my channel please go check my other videos out i have all the projects where these products belong to at the moment and Let's see if I'm going to end or start new ones this month. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Bye.